<sighs> We're going to be running a little hot tonight, you guys. But before we get started on that, I'd like to ask you guys to please visit the YouTube site for this uh, for this video because I got a link below for a website that has a bunch of other links for Black Lives Matter causes. Uh, causes that involve places where you can donate and um, petitions to sign. Also, pretty important at the end down there or up there. I forgot. It's been a while since I did what I did uh, back then. Is a uh, place you can register to vote. Vote, vote, vote. It's pretty rough. It's going to be a rough one. So please take the time and register to vote. It would do this country well. Especially when you don't vote for Trump. Don't vote for Trump, please. As you can see, I'm driving the 67 Lamborghini Miura P400. It's the closest I can get to the, what's it called? The 1972 uh, Miura S. Miura, Miura, I forgot. And uh, the reason why is because, uh, well... If you know the song Panama by, uh, what's his name? Oh, excuse me, one more, one more thing. Uh, yeah. If you know Panama by Van Halen, well, you know why I'm driving this one. So, yeah. Rest in peace, Mr. Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Pretty influential guitar player there. But, yeah. Cancer's rough. Yeah. So let's get on with this. So it's uh, this is nothing compared to you know that sort of stuff. Pretty heavy beginning, I know. Pretty heavy intros, but um, yeah. Here, I'm turning these off because I want to see the road. But anyways. Let's get it over with. This is going to be a rough one. It's winter. It's, uh... Yeah. So, even though it's freezing out there, we've still got loads of people braving the weather to watch this seasonal. I don't suppose that has anything to do with you, does it? We are going to be using the Tarig Volkswagen. I think we used this in the last season? Or was it for summer? I forgot. But hey, you know... Uh, last one was a road race. This is a street race, so let's get to it. This is not the hardest one, actually. Uh, I should have backed out and just do that one, but let's get this one over with. I am using an Xbox One Elite Series 2 controller with... Uh, paddles on the P1 and P3 positions. P1 to upshift, P3 to downshift, and A for clutch. I am driving manual clutch. Uh, I forgot to uh, post up my difficulty settings, but uh, we are doing this on unbeatable. Uh, reason why is because, well, I'm sure that we can. This is a very slow build, actually, this Torig. Part of the reason why is because uh, I, don't know, I, I I built this in that weird time where I was transitioning from okay, well, I don't have to worry. I don't really have to worry about uh, the weight of this vehicle. I can get used to it. And that beginner phase where, like, well, you know, give me all the downforce, um, drop all the weight, and. Uh, uh, take this uh, slow but nimble car around and you know beat the competition with it. And hey, you know what? Like these cars are fast, but can they do this? Whoa, that's one. That's two. That's three.
I have to restart though. Yeah, let's restart. That's rough. <clears throat> yeah, but gotta show you that I can do this. You can do this. You can tell then. I'm already focused. I'm I'm not losing my mind here. Like we did do Sports Utility Heroes the uh, previous season, right? I swear I did. Feels like feels like yesterday I was driving around with this Torig. Yeah, that's rough. Anyways, oh boy. We could do this. Look at that. The car is just one car up ahead. This is doable. And the AI always seems to pick the weirdest uh, trajectory. So, hey, if you got that right, you know, so. If you like geometry and whatnot, you know, you got this. See, hey, look at that. Just takes us one race to get accustomed to it, and there you go. You got it. Might get a little rough up ahead, though. Two races in, uh, two championships in particular. The ones after the, the ones after this one, are gonna be a little rough because of winter. Not a lot of, not a lot of people like driving around winter. I get it, you know. They don't want to be, you know, hydroplaning across. All right, there's another phrase for it. There's another word for it for for the snowy season, but eh, it's not coming to me right now. Yes, I know, 5,000. Just uh, opening my laptop here because, you know, got to keep track of all the cars I auction. I auction off all my duplicates, except for some. There's some cars I don't, um, I don't auction. They're dupes. Like it says right there, you're gonna win a caddy escalade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna auction the hell out of that one. I got nothing against the caddy escalates, but you know, just, uh, I already got one. And this track, uh, this track's funny, especially on 998. Because there's always this one corner that the the AI, uh, the AI seems to push too hard on this one corner. It's up ahead. And if you build your vehicle to be um, all about downforce, you know, lowering the weight on the engine, not adding width to the tires for grip, uh, you 
know, take advantage of the corners, you know, just take it slow and just uh, lightly accelerate because then they're going to eat you up on the, on the straights here. Watch, uh, I'm going to switch the cockpit and you can tell by my rearview mirror, you know, they, they want to catch up, they put, they push pretty hard to catch up. I mean, they could push a little harder, you know, I'm just saying. Uh. Yeah, this vehicle's all right. Could be a lot worse. Anyways, damn, Eddie Van Halen, you know, like when I heard Eddie Van Halen passed away, sorry to be a downer, like I really thought it was the COVID thing, but I totally forgot his bad old cancer, that sucks, man, that's a, that's a big one there, because, look, um, so, I'm a, yeah, I'll, I'll be frank. I'm a failed musician, but eh, here are my two cents on Eddie Van Halen. Like, he's great. He has some amazing songs. He wasn't my favorite guitar player, though. Like, he he just wasn't. Um, I was I was. If you're not familiar with the Sunset Strip battle, that's that's all the all those metal bands in uh, Los Angeles around 1980, just you know, duking it out. Who's Got the best guitar player, I guess, you know, and it kind of came down to Eddie Van Halen versus Randy Rhodes. And I've, I'm on the Randy Rhodes camp. But damn, Eddie Van Halen just had a damn style to him. Just, uh, there's just, there's just, uh, there's just a story, uh, that there's this anecdote, I guess. Jerry Kentrell from, uh, Allison Chains. Mm. Another fantastic guitar player. But um, there's a story that he has of Eddie Van Halen when I, I guess Allison Chains, Change, Chains. Uh, I can't English today. Um, Allison Chains opened up for Van Halen uh, sometime in the '90s. And, uh, yeah, he, 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 he was on, he was doing this sound check, Jerry Cantrell. But what happened was that Eddie Van Halen came out. And, you know, Jerry Cantrell loves Van Halen. Loves Eddie. And, oh boy. And what happened was that Eddie Van Halen asked Jerry, like, hey, you know, can I... I borrowed the guitar, you know, just uh, let me check out, uh, let me check your setup out. Let me check your stuff out, man, you know, let, let me just drum here, run through your settings. And it's funny because, you know, Alice and Chains have their own set of, you know, guitar setups. Um, Jerry Control will play Les Pauls and Les Pauls, like, if you don't know, Les Paul guitars are basically, they're not exactly, but they're basically, like, the neck of the guitar is glued onto the, onto the body of the guitar. And, and, uh, the kind of guitars that Eddie Van Halen would play were, had the neck bolted onto the, to the body of the guitar, and it would produce, and, you know, this little stuff. It's little things like that that produce different sounds. It's, uh, it affects the behavior of the guitars. So anyways, Ed, uh, Jer uh, Jerry Kentrell hands Eddie Van Halen his last paw. He's running through, oh, there you go. He's, uh, um, Eddie's running through Jerry's set of pedals, his effects, whatever, you know. And he starts strumming and then 
Jerry just stands there, like, kind of in shock. Because, well, like, you know, one of his damn heroes is playing his, his guitar, you know, running through his equipment, just jamming to it, which is cool as hell, you know. But, but um, he notes in the story, in the anecdote, how the entire setup, even though, like, it's meant for Jerry's style and Jerry's sound, for some reason, when Eddie started strumming, that entire setup sounded like if it was made for Van Halen, like if it was just made for a whole different band. And it was a very powerful lesson for Jerry. And for me, when I read it on Guitar World, I forgot what issue it was. It was decades ago. You ready to take on this winter championship? What am I saying? Of course you are. Uh, yeah, it was a very powerful lesson on how, like, you can buy the same pedals, you could buy the same guitar, you could buy the same uh, cables, you could run it through the same damn wall outlet. It doesn't matter. Your sound, your, um, the unique properties in your sound can come down to your fingers, right down to your fingers. And that's intense to learn. Because, you know, I really love Randy Rhodes. I, 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 I still love his music. I still um, love his style, you know. But it was very early on when I was I was um, picking out an instrument, picking out, and, and I wanted, you know, I asked my dad, you know, to, to help me out with. Uh, you know, you know, my dad, uh, my parents actually were very damn generous. They were like, well, you know, you want it, you got it, you know? And luckily for them, I learned, I read that story very early in my, uh, in my, oh boy, musical, I guess, career. In my artistic career, I guess, you know? That hey, it just comes down to the person. Yeah, very intense story. Um, there are other stories from Eddie as well. You know, some that are um, some that sh uh, shape my liking of the guy. That you know, it, it, it's ultimately the reason why I prefer Randy Rhodes over Eddie Van Halen. You know, some people are like, oh, you, you got to separate the artist from the art. Like, I'm not that, I don't believe that at all. I, like, I, that's, it's a very dumb way of looking at things, I think. Because try, uh, try as hard as you want, you know, even if that artist is trying to separate that art with his, with, uh, with his or herself, their, uh, themselves, you know, that's, wouldn't that be affecting the art then directly? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not buzzed or drunk enough to talk about it, but yeah, I don't know. uh, if you anything like, like, you know, maybe rest in peace. That's all I'll say about that because What are life? But okay, so actually, no, I'm gonna see some more. God damn it, you know. But so, so I was looking back at a couple of videos of the guy. Uh, his solo, his uh, like eruption, like compared to the sort of monster guitar players that came out of that era, the uh, the decade after the dec even guitar players right now. Like if you go on Instagram and and find videos of guitar players. They're just insane. Just like Yeah, I'm sorry for talking about music a lot, but hey, you know, just uh You can see already I'm using the uh ATS Cadillac to run through more street uh, street scene events. Boy. But yeah. 
a guitar player, what Eddie Van Halen was doing when he f first, um, when he broke into the mainstream, by today's standards, his stuff is damn easy. It's, it's like, okay, well, you're kind of just like tapping harmonics. You know, it's just, uh, you're lightly touching the guitar strings to create that harmonic sound, I guess, you know, so that's cool. Hey, look at this. I am doing the same thing, but with actual notes I'm intending to play, not just hitting whatever's and actually constructing a song out of it, you know? Like, yeah, okay, modern guitar players, technically speaking, just can just body Eddie Van Halen, but those videos, that was 1979, 78, 79. What made Eddie Van Halen so goddamn special was that he opened the door and showed the world like, no, you don't realize the possibilities and the potential of sounds that you can create out of the guitar with just, with just distortion. You know, throwing a phaser there, throwing a flanger. Ah. He opened the doors. He opened the Pandora's box of potential sound on the guitar. And, yep. It's a, it's a wonderful thing he did. What a mind he had. A lot of drama. I'll give it that. You know, he, um, like I said, can't separate the art from the artist, but. Damn. He changed the landscape. He changed the landscape, and like so much so. That. Well, not enough that a lot of people are gonna pick him out. Like, like uh, I was talking to somebody about this. And came to the conclusion that if. If you talk about guitar players, not a lot of people know this, but if you talk about guitar players, the whole world can talk about Carlos Santana. Like, I don't know about people here. Like, I know there's some call-in jerks who are like, oh, why are you playing Carlos Santana t on, like, classic rock radio? But it's like, dude, you don't understand the worldwide impact Carlos Santana had. Has. It's like the people who got pissed off at... <laughs> okay, uh, this sounds mean, but... Carlos Santana is the is the Minecraft Steve of, <laughs> of music. Like, complain all you want. Like, there's millions and millions of people outside of your city, your country, that know of this. They love it. That's the thing. He's... And you gotta respect that. You gotta respect... His art's ability to push past the, what you call, the cultural boundaries, you know? And not a lot of people are gonna, are gonna like, oh, do you know Eddie Van Halen? Uh, yeah, I heard of the band Van Halen, but, you know, uh, I guess... Sure, you know, I don't think Eddie Van Halen can can do the same thing as Carlos Santana can when you drop his name outside of the U.S. But like, if you're just sitting there with a the guitar, and if you know it, if you start playing it, they're gonna be like, "Oh, uh, yeah, I love that solo from Beat It." 
Michael Jackson's beat it. Well, guess who made that guitar solo? You know? Eddie Van Halen was that ambassador, I guess, for rock and roll, metal, you know? And showed up in that damn Michael Jackson song, man. Jeez. Oh! Oh, I was, I'm being, um, that looked bad for them, though, but whatever, I was, uh, talking about the driving here, oh, yeah, oh, boy, I love talking about music, it's been a while since I've really spoken to someone about music, I could gush all day about music, don't know much about modern music, but, all I could say is like, damn, at least it's still running, you know? Wow, geez, already? Okay. have to get burpy on this yeah i do because i always eat dinner before this and i know it's super dumb but also i don't know i go to sleep super early um ugh, hit the mic there sorry but uh yeah okay so mm, yeah even though it's freezing out there, I'm pretty sure you'll have a lot of fun with this seasonal. Just make sure you wrap up warm. This might get a little hairy. So, we've got... Off-road vehicles. Specifically German off-road vehicles. And the problem with that... The problem with German off-road vehicles is that there, there are not a lot of friendly options... Credits wise, that you could pick from. From what I can gather, oh, the majority of the vehicles. So it's offered, right? Like, why the hell do you want a rally car? Like, it's like, yeah, that's cool, I guess, you know, but. It's just not good enough for the off-road. It's just a different beast. With that in mind... Is that a Torig right in front of me? God damn it. See? With that in mind... You're gonna have to pick... A sports utility vehicle or an off-road vehicle and have to do an engine swap. That's the problem. Like, like okay, you... You got your Mercedes X-Class truck. That's cool. Engine swap, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm getting a little competitive here. Okay, hold up. Let me focus. Oh, crap. No, I could do this do this no nah, actually i can't <laughs> oh boy okay it's gonna get rough here it's gonna be very rough here i think that's the name the mercedes x class i forgot it was a truck it's an off-road truck by mercedes benz but the thing is that the stock engine can't do can't go up to 900 it could go to 801 but oh man but yeah just showing that like for me, for someone who wants to show that, hey, you know, you can cap this. And you can beat the hell out of this. Uh, beat the hell out of the AI with it. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I had to do the engine swap. It sucks, but there you go. Let me do my stuff. Also, try not to go on the inside too hard here. Just a, a little on the outside. Ride the wall if you have to, but... Because you saw it earlier in the previous race. Fucking flew. Flew in the air trying to hit the apex. And yet, just be careful not to pick any German car. Just, you gotta go with a sports utility or an off-road and you have to do the engine swap, man. Buddy, oh, I'm sorry. But also, this track is a real fucker. Launch too far, and you miss the, uh, the checkpoint. Also, you gotta take this part on the left side right here. Because if you go on the right, you hit that little, uh, what do you call those? Boardwalks? Little, little walkways? I'll never forget that one. But yeah. Alright, cool. That's one. I should have done this one first. I should have done this one first. Uh, could have ended the day talking about, you know, music stuff, but here we are. We're going to fight this. Oh, boy. I hate... Okay. Oh, these tracks. All right. This is going to be rough. And this one's going to be a long one. Uh, let's see. How much time do you have? All right. Oh, uh, my neck. And this is going to be a long upload, too, now that I think about it. Ugh. Also, it's unbeatable. So if you can't catch the car ahead of you, uh, and they make past uh, a barrier, like this one, this one up ahead. If you're not close enough to the car in front of you, you're just going to fly right through it. The collision's not going to bother them, and, but it's going to bother you, so... There goes your chances. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Sorry if you can hear the clickety clackers of my controller. Also, stick to the right right here because if you stick to the left, you're going to hit that house and that sucks. Ruined many a run. All these points, though. Man, look at that. I was trying something new with this recording. Uh... Yeah, I'm being a stubborn asshole. Just gonna say it. Uh, I don't have a pop screen for this mic. Oh, that pop that you heard there, that was not me. That's the game. S -s -s randomly does it. But anyways, yeah, I don't have a pop screen. So, I'm trying something different here. I'm actually wearing... <laughs> I'm actually wearing a surgical mask. Not a surgeon, no. Uh, but, yeah, just a... Wondering if a mask does it. So, if um, if you can hear my breathing, my bad. I 
only saying that because, you know, it's a... Ah, I work with a surgical mask all fucking day. Don't give me that bullshit about, like, oh, I can't breathe <laughs> under this, under a mask. Just fucking do it. But if you hear this, then, hmm, my bad. This is lap three. Ah, oh, yeah, this is lap three. This, this goes on for a while. This goes on for a while. Don't roll. Don't roll. Just keep it straight. Don't unsettle the vehicle. Just keep it straight. And drift there if you have to. You know, hit the wall if you have to, but... Whatever you do when you're uh, going off that mountain. Off that cliff there. Yeah, off the mountain. Fuck it. Um, do not unsettle the car. Just go straight. And this is that. this super late I just been t I'm I, uh, I could record earlier but you know, I'm very hungry I tried to I did the whole recording earlier about two videos ago two weeks ago and I was dying I honestly just couldn't I was uh I was very hungry I eat at around 5 30 a.m. and I don't eat anything at all after that until I get home. Okay. Uh, controller going on the desk here. Um, Testing. Okay, well. Mail showed up. And guess what? It's time to vote. Okay. Well, let's see. Can we save this? Let's try and save this. Where are we? Oh, this is lap one. Okay. can't save it well fuck it let's just do this oh boy well ah <laughs> uh, well that was their race oh if we can't win after that one fuck all right that's a bummer uh this one's tough on the fingers not gonna lie drive like a jerk here, but let's check it out. Look at that, look at that.
Um, I was gonna take that jump earlier. You know what? Fuck it. Don't ever take the jump. Don't ever take the jump. <laughs> Don't ever take the jump because you'll just you're just gonna eat it and that's your race. Uh, yeah, sorry for the, for pausing there. Just uh, um, my mail showed up and I guess it's time to vote. <laughs> cool. But anyways. That's that. That's that. All right, then. Oh, wow. That's a very powerful fence. Anyways. That about does it. Don't forget to pull out your BMW. Uh, what's it called? The BMW M1 2014 uh, One Series Coupe. And make sure to grab a hypercar and take a picture of the Moorhead Wind Farm. But before you get uh, through any of that, Please, um, if you haven't checked your mail already, just do it. Mine just randomly showed up. And, yeah. Take the time, whether break at work or when you come home. And, you know, uh, study over as soon as possible. Uh, or what you can vote for on your ballot. Uh, especially for the little stuff, you know, like, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, for local government stuff, you know, you might not know, you, you might be surprised of how bad it is, um, in your, uh, local area and, you know, affect it, tell your buddies about it, you know, like go up to, you know, um, send a message in the group chat and just be like, you, you guys know about this? And, wow, that's five, seven, nine, twelve votes you could change, you know? It's nuts. But, yeah, take the time to vote. Take the time to visit the uh, the link in my YouTube video. Um, if you're watching this video, uh, visit the YouTube page for this video. Uh, there's a link for a web page that has a bunch of other links for Black Lives Matter causes. Such as places you can donate and places you can sign petitions for. And, oh boy, to register to vote. It's getting closer. My ballot just showed up. Can't stress that enough. It's messed up. But yeah. Thanks again for stopping by if you're regular. And if this is your first time, I hope I get to hang around with you again. Watch me fumble through these again. Until then, wear a mask, use a lot of hand sanitizer, go out when you need to, maintain social distancing, and most of all, stay safe. Peace, you guys.